Today I'll be making a Misty Island guide. The island will come out in a day or two. But I have the chance to test it out in test servers. Although I'm only locked in chapter 1, I can go over some of the basics. So what is Misty Island? So Misty Island is a limited event for about a little over one month. With these new blessing slot totems that are flammable. So you have to do this event to unlock these totems and flames. You get about 100. You get about 100 flames. Flame this totem. More on that later. So to start, you go to your start tab, then you click on this fire icon, and it's just some dialogue to get in here. But let me just skip through it. So you arrive over here, there's some dialogue. So this NPC, Polion. This is where you do your explorations every day. Like I said, I'm only locked to chapter 1. But your first clear, you get these items. And you get about... You can get about 200 exploration points per day. And they are per account. But just do it one character. What these points do is they make your game easier at the time you start a new one. So the, the NPC you talk to next is Sonia. And then you use your points over here. So I use mine on attack to make things easier for me, but there's other ones like cannon, defense, attack speed, etc. Whatever you think will make your game easier. Depends on your playstyle. Okay, now that we're done with that, let's get started. I may do multiple takes because it's kind of hard to explain everything. And you are very limited and everything goes by kind of fast. Like I said earlier, go to Polion to get started. So the day reset, I don't know when, but last time I played it and it was 200 out of 200. But you get 10 entries per day. So that's kind of cool. But you shouldn't need out you shouldn't need all 10 entries to cap. If you complete chapter 1, which I did last night, you get 200 points. There's 10 days in uh, one game. And the goblin waves happen around every 3 days at night time. So 3, 6, and 9 at, at night. So basically what you want to do is just prep before the goblin waves and then just build your base better. I'll be going over my strategy for at least clearing chapter 1. That's I don't know how the other chapters are. Basically the game plan is before day 3, I plan to make a pickaxe and just mine the whole time. And then before day 3 at night, I just go back and um, equip my, my base a little bit. And grab some wood along the way. And then you kind of go from there. So there are three bars. There's a health, action point, and fullness bar. The health bar decreases when you get hit. The action bar is for any actions you do, like harvesting, attacking. But you can recover that with the tent. And your fullness meter is something that goes down constantly, and you have to always eat something. Better to eat cooked food because it recovers faster. There's a cooking pot you can use to cook two foods, which gives you better healing. And saves you more space. Well, let's get started. So this three buttons up here. Equip tab, you can press it, equip, then bag is I, then your production key is your crafting. So what I do is normally is what I normally do is I go here on the left side and you harvest these and pick them up. You gotta pick it up ma ma manually. And then I go to over to the other side, get more.
and I craft a stone axe, craft a stone pickaxe, then a wooden sword, then go down to structure, then you make a bonfire. I need beef. Oh, actually, you could have made that. Oh, you can also keep on. You can also keep on your items here. Okay, so we're gonna go mining first. So here's our day and night cycle. And up here is your health bar for the base. And then we have your health here. Your extra points here, and then your bonus. As far as food goes, you want to just kill moths along the way. Our main goal here is how to find iron. Which you, you can see right here. I have to kill these. Iron has this little like bluish tint on it. It kind of blends in with the background. But you just harvest it and then fine. That's what iron looks like. It has this like two kind of stone looking icon. Regular stone has this tall, taller looking icon. So what I like to do is just mine everything as you go. Everything, everything you need. You don't need wood right now. Mostly iron. And just get mouse for food. You can also keep on your food too. Cooked food is better, but I just don't want to make a campfire right now. Let's grab some food and then go back to mining. This one's a big rock, so it'll take a while. And this this gold, um this all right here is gold. We'll need that later on. Well, you don't really need it, but it's nice to have. That's in the later days. But just mine away, just grab everything because we'll need a bunch of stone and iron anyways. You see my extra points are going down. I think I'll harvest this rock and then grab some wood and then go back to base. And then trees, you can see they're kind of blending with the background too, but these are harvestable. I'll grab. You have to use the proper tools, as in the axe for cutting down trees, and then the pickaxe for chopping down the um, mining the rocks. I need a bunch of trees and leaves, so I'm just gonna grab it, everything as I go. Chop down, chop down the whole tree. These can disappear, so make sure you grab them. If you ever get lost, there is a mini map. Here. You can see where you're going. So that's our base. Which is right here. So I should eat. There we go. <laughs> eat a little bit. It says they invaded, but they haven't yet. Don't worry about it. So it's crafting, it's called structure, a bonfire, and then we have to set it down. And then you can press your interact key to cook some meat. And double click on it and then cook. And then once you cook, make sure you take it out. And then cook more food. Oh, I didn't take it out, so yeah. If you don't take it out, it just... You don't eat it. There we go. And then next thing I want to build is... The workbench. So if you don't know how to build it, or find it, just click, double click on it. And it brings you to the item. And workbench. So the workbench... You see here, there's more options for me to build now. So my next goal is... Here. Still axe and still pickaxe, so that's what I'm, I'm I'm gonna make. Double click on it. I'm actually be near the workbench. Two of these. 
And then two of these rods. And then our coal. The tools, do axe, do pickaxe. And then you can toss out your old axe. Stone. Um, I like to be a little bit organized. Just, just replace it. So steel, they harvest a lot faster. Then the weapons, I like to use the bow. It attacks more mobs, but if you check uh, the weapons, different stats to give you like more attack, less mob count, stuff like that. It's preference, but I like the bow. I need some more wood, which I'll chop. Here is the steel axe. You see how much faster it harvests, like that should be your main goal, day one. It makes it so much easier for the next couple of days. So it's gonna be night time soon, which is the first wave. If you don't have any defenses, it's not a big deal. So the bow, craft it, and then I'll use it, and just the way the old sword. Let me keep on it too. So you hear that like snoring, grunting noise? That means the mobs has have spawned. Also, I should probably eat. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, I just kill him. I have to perk for more attack points, so it's a lot faster for me to kill them. Your first playthrough won't be this easy. But if you know what you're doing, or you're used to survival games, this will be pretty easy. So before the next wave, my goal is to upgrade my base a little bit by putting in defense towers and some barricades. You don't really have to, at least for chapter 1, but it helps. It saws out the enemies a little bit. Okay, I think that's it. Alrighty, so next wave is going to be in day 3. At night time. Also here, um, the palm tent. I need this. I need more leaves. The palm tent. It recovers your your action points. They, they look like kind of grass that blends in with the background. So make sure you're near the bork bench, and you put it nearby. Fine. The actual points are getting recovered. I need food. Let's go hunting. This is also grass right here. Like I said, it kind of blends in too much. So my next goal right now is to get some food, but also mine some gold. Good enemies along the way, and I know there was gold here. Each game you play, the spawn locations of the ores and the wood and grass is always different. Need some meat for now. Here's gold, switch to my pickaxe. And it mines a lot faster. If you try mining this with the um, iron or your pickaxe. Uh, if you try to mine it with the uh one pickaxe it wouldn't budge at all. But you know, since we're here, oh iron here too. Yeah, you are gonna grab all the iron and all the gold while you're here. It should be enough for what I'm doing. And then I'll go get some more food, maybe some wood. One thing about survival games is don't grab what you just need. You have more than what you need because there may, other, there may be other things that you may want to make or don't know you need to make. It's better to have too much than not enough. 
And you're here anyway, so you might as well just harvest it. Oh yeah, that's a lot of gold. Okay, I'm almost out of action points. It does recover passively, but it's kind of slow. Get some more food. Up some wood. Okay, should be good enough. Let's go back home. Actually, I need some more food, so let's do that. <laughs> let's go hunt a little bit. Because you will... You do get hungry quite often. We still have a whole day, so let's actually explore a little bit. A lot of iron. I'm looking for a pond with fish in it. Okay, I think all this meat is fine. I know, like I said, that's way here. Just find this gold, this um, iron. Get some grass and trees too. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make a campfire for cooking. And then I'll pop it down here. That lets me cook two food instead of one. More fullness. And say space. That should be enough for now. And then we're gonna upgrade a little bit. <laughs> so the industrial work table. Five of these rods. That's why I say mine so much iron. And then we need some brick. We need three of these, so rocks. And you make it, and it just upgrades. And now we can make even more things. But for chapter 1, we don't need this much stuff. So I actually want the gold axe and gold pickaxe, just because. You don't have to do this. Now what I'm going to do is... Just replace it. Oh, still pickaxe, take it away. The axe. And I'm also gonna upgrade my weapon. I like the crossbow, personally. But it's preference. Crap. 
crafts it. Okay. Divine it, actually. So now... Got to eat. But... Enemy spawns, which is fine. And that's pretty much it. Um, now I just set up defenses and maybe make some armor just because I want to. This, this crossbow is so much better. If you got this far, you're pretty much smooth sailing. You shouldn't struggle anymore. So you see the boss spawn, it's a Lizard King over there. So what I like to do is, I'll go behind him. He doesn't, he doesn't turn around, he just goes forward. He does attack in front and behind him with this purple lightning, but it's fine. You don't take much damage. With a better weapon, you can just brute force it. That's it. He does drop some things, but you cannot use it right now. The next wave is in two more days at night. <coughs> so the goal right now for me is to gather more food and then just make some defenses, which would be our defend and then you can make stone walls so you know you cannot make stone walls um i normally just a wooden barricade and then crossbow tower which are stuff you normally just gather anyways so let's do that Go explore this way. Oh, that's space. Let's go down here. Get some meat. Oh, the, the boar is a good source of meat. They normally drop multiple. It has a golden pickaxe against an iron boar. It almost one shots it. Really good. So having an upgraded tool is like number one priority. There's another iron ore. Two harvests and it's done. It has a gold. Let's try the gold one now. Oh, this, this is a big pine. Look at the gold. It's chunking. Kind yeah, of overkill for chapter 1, like I said, but it's just nice. Oh, that's a big rock too. Took three harvests. But keep mining. Get more than what you need. I'll grab some more wood too. One harvest on a big tree. Wow. Yeah, I think that's good. I have just about a day and a half left, so I'm gonna grab some more food. I wanna see if I can show you some fish. Go try to find a nice pond. Nothing is fine. Actually, let's go back home. Uh, I have a lot of meat now. This will last me. So 
to go back to your pot, put up your inventory, and double click the food. Okay, so, I'll make some defenses. Put a barricade. Get some leaves. And then some wood. And then I'll make two of these. Oh, another one. And then some crossbow towers. Two of these. Two ropes. And four planks. Crossbow tower. Two of them. So this great platform is for the crossbow tower. And then this brown one is for the barricade. And repeat on the other side too. I said you're pretty much set. And now let's make some armor for fun. So I'll make some, some of these shoes. It really doesn't matter, chapter one, but Practice good habits. Uncap. We'll make one of these. And then... Wooden armor. Just because I can. I didn't make it. There we go. Now we just kind of wait. You're more than prepared for the last wave. So let me just actually go get, get some more food. I should be fine. I'll try to see. Okay. The monsters have spawned. This crossbow tower doing his work. And the barricades you'll see, it blocks some of the enemies. Not there. So the final enemy with this chapter 1 is a giant turtle with a cannon which I like to nickname Blastoise right there you can't take some of the damage but I like to go behind him and hit him with ranged so this is why having the structures help. It kind of stalls him out a little bit. 
Even if he gets through, gets, uh, even if he gets through and you have no defenses, he won't kill the tower. I've let him gone through once and uh, it was really close. My first playthrough. But it's better to have safety than not. That's it. It ends here. So if you complete the full game, you get the 200 points cap. Daily clear XP2. I don't know how, how much you get, but let's see. Um, 70%. Yeah, so about the same. Maybe like 0.1. But see, it takes one full game if you complete it to get max points. And then you turn the points once again to Sonia. So you can upgrade your attack, upgrade attack speed, harvesting power, whatever you want to. Whatever you think will make your gameplay easier. Let's try jumping speed. So that's on achievement list too. So you basically get nodes and several selectors. Craft 500 times for some selectors, but you get two of them. But I didn't really aim for these, just kind of uh, let it happen. I'm sure chapter 2, 3, and 4 will be more incentive. But as you go on, like they do add up quite a bit. They get flames too. Get more selectors. You get higher as you go down. And chalice missions, I can't do it yet to like unlock it, which I cannot do right now. And that's pretty much it for chapter one. Hopefully, this helps with chapter one, and get you some, get you to know some of the basics of. This, I, uh, this event. Good luck and I'll see you in a couple of days.